right, guys, we're going to continue practicing division using the area model. On our learning scale, we hope to be at a 2 right now, which leads us to our learning goal, um, which says, I can find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using the following strategies. Equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. Most importantly for right now, area models. Let's try um, one together. 24 divided by 6. Remember that we're trying to figure out how many equal groups of 6 there are in 24. We're going to start by counting up to 6 using our grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to continue until we get to 24 to find out how many groups of 6 there are. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So how many groups of 6 did it take me to get to 24? 1, 2, 3, 4. We know that inside all those dots, it equals 24. We divided by 6, and it equals all right let's try another this one's done just like the first one the only difference is that it has a three digit dividend whereas the first one had a two digit dividend we're going to start the same way by counting up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. i could continue counting all the way to 136 but that would take us quite some time. So we can go ahead and skip a step. And we're going to count to 10 all the way across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We know we just counted 10. We're trying to get to 136. We're going to multiply what's inside these squares that we just counted out. 8 times 10 is 80. We're now going to subtract. 6 minus 0 is 6. We can't do 3 minus 8, so we're going to borrow. 13 minus 8 is 5. We're now left with 56. That's a little bit easier of a number for us to work with. We now have to figure out how many equal groups of 8 can go into 56. If you think about your math facts, we should hopefully be able to realize that 8 goes evenly into 56, and it goes in evenly 7 times. So we know we could go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. We can't forget to bring down our 8 dots, though, so we know just how many are inside. We are now going to take the number that we ended up with over here to keep subtracting. We have 7 up here because we have 7 dots that we just put across ourselves. We are now going to multiply 8 times 7, which gives me 56. We are going to subtract, and lucky for us, we have nothing left over, so now all that's left to do is add our two numbers that we just got. 10 plus 7 equals 17, allowing us to find our answer of 136 divided by 8, equaling out to 17. You're going to try this one on your own this one on your own, and also this last one on your own. Please be sure to use the grid paper that was given to you in class today. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.